Here were our different ideas about where the rust came from. Now, from the evidence we collected in the digital model, we know that one substance can, in fact, turn into something else. We also know that two substances can have a chemical reaction and turn into something new as well. So how does this help us narrow down which claims are correct? The first thing we need to think about was that during our chemical reactions, we saw oops, that the reaction took place when atoms rearranged themselves in the molecules that were already existing. No atoms were changing into different types during our investigations in the digital model. All that we saw happening was that the molecules were bouncing around and atoms were breaking off and reattaching in different ways. So if we had the pipes having a reaction by itself, we would have a bunch of those iron atoms bouncing around um, and bumping into each other. That would not be able to create the rust that we see here because there are no oxygen atoms to reattach if we just had pipes reacting by themselves. We also can see that the fertilizer, again, would be multiple molecules of fertilizer bouncing around and bumping into each other. Now, these two atoms could have fallen off and broken apart, but I still do not see any iron atoms in here for that reattachment and rearrangement to happen. And again, because we know that atoms cannot change into another type of atom during a chemical reaction, it also makes it unlikely that this claim is true. This leaves us with our final two claims, that two types of things reacted, either the fertilizer and the pipes or the water and the pipes. Now, based on the atoms that we see here, both would be possible. There are oxygen atoms and iron atoms if this reaction took place, and iron pipes and water, I see an oxygen and iron that could rearrange in some way. However, claim four is very unlikely due to the fact that nothing changed about the pipes in the recent years in Westfield. Water was always running through those pipes. And so it doesn't make sense that this caused a reaction if the water and the pipes had been in contact often throughout the years. The most likely claim then is that the fertilizer and the pipes underwent a chemical reaction and rearranged to form something new. Now, something I notice right away is that this would mean that we have some atoms that are not included in the rust. Now, this could be possible, but we probably want to investigate further about whether these atoms might be in the water. And if so, is that okay for the Westfield company? In our next lessons, we will focus on whether atoms can be destroyed in a chemical reaction or where these extra atoms have gone. Great job today, you guys. See you next time.